Hey everyone, welcome to this coding tutorial. In this video, we're going to be going through building a Huffman tree in Python. So what I'm going to do first is make our app.py file. And then we need to work out what we're going to do in this project. So first, we need to list the frequency of data. So get frequency of data in a given data input. And then what we need to do is sort this, sort the data by frequency. And then what we're going to do is we're going to build the tree based on this frequency. And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to get the string uh, for tracing down the tree. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to get an input. So, let's call it text equals, let's just say, this is some text. And then what we can do is we're going to uh, add this each character into a dictionary and then increase the number if the value is already in the dictionary and if it's not, we're going to add it to the dictionary. So we're going to make a dictionary called data. And then we're going to say for i in text and I'm going to do text upper. Not that it matters because it's all upper at the moment, but this is uh, easier to see if we do this anyway, then it proves the point. Uh, but you don't need to do that. You can do it for any text and it doesn't matter if it's upper or not. And then we're going to say if I is in data, then we're going to increase it by one. So we're going to say data i and then value because that's how it's going to be arranged in the dictionary plus equals one. And then we're going to say else data i equals value one. So now we can print out now we can print out uh, data. And we should see that here we have this. So we have t with the value of 3 because t appears three times. Here is an uppercase and then here is lowercase. But because we've done two upper, it counts it all as uppercase. So this is working. So we've done this part already. Now, what we need to do is sort by frequency. So now what we're going to do is sorted keys. So we need to make a new uh, key, key dictionary. So we're going to do sorted keys. Uh, keys, and then what we're going to say, oh sorry, we're not going to do that, we don't need to declare it up here, we're going to say down here, sorted keys is equal to sorted, so we're using the sorted function in Python, and then data, because that's the data we're dealing with to sort. And then key equals lambda x. And then data x. And then we're going to be getting value. And you can look this up if you want to. Because I know not everyone will know about lambda. And then reverse equals true. And that's the way we're going to do it. And then we can print sorted keys. Uh, and then here we're going to see 
we have the keys in order. And you can see here we have X here, and then M. M is still 1, but then we have T is 3, and then S is 3. So this looks like it's been sorted right. So we've also done sort by frequency. Now what we are going to do is build the tree. So we're going to say, um, while the length of sorted keys is greater than 1, we're going to do some things here. So we're going to say uh, A key. We can say key or I'll just do AK equals sorted keys dot pop. And then here, what we're going to get is you can see we're going to get all of these values. Uh, if we do this. And then this is listing out all our uh, keys or all the values in here. So AK equals sorted keys pop. And then we're going to do AB as well. Uh, B, BK, sorry. Equals sorted keys dot pop. And then pop by default uh, is indexed at minus one. So we don't need to worry about that. If we had not reversed it, then we'd have to say pop zero. But we have reversed it, so that's we don't need to worry about that. And then we can say AK val for each of these equals data AK and then val because we're getting the value of these. And then we can do the same with B BK val. And what I'm and yes, this looks good. So now what we can do is we can say total value of both of them added up equals AK val plus BK val. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a done dictionary as well. So up here, we're going to say done equals blank dictionary and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add these to the done dictionary so we're going to say done ak and then comma done bk because that's easier to do we should have done it up here as well already with the commas, but that's fine, it still works. And then data AK, and then data BK. And then we need to delete the data from AK and BK as well. So you can say delete data AK data BK. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to add in a new uh, thing into data. So because we're merging these two, say we have the characters A, character A and character B, and they both have value 1. Let's say that. Then what we're going to have in the end is we're going to have AB with value 2, if that makes sense. So we need to add these to our data dictionary now. So we're going to say data, and then we have to pass it as a string. AK plus BK is equal to val. And then we're going to say total val, so the value that we added up. And then left, we're going to say left of the uh, Huffman tree is going to be AK and then we're going to say right is going to be BK and I messed this up left should be here 
And then this is working. And then we need to resort our keys because now we've added in uh, another data type or another set of data. So where we here had T, S, and then space I, we might have um, T, S, space I, E, and then we might have M, X here after the E, and then H, O. Um, so we need to be aware of that, and so that's why we're sorting it again. So we're going to say sorted keys, oh, sorted keys is equal to sorted, Okay. And then the same thing, data, and then key equals lambda, x, and then data, x, and then value. And then also reverse equals true for the way we're doing it. And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to put in our done done list so the list of data dot keys and then uh, index zero and then that's going to be equal to ooh, that's going to be equal to list of data um, dot values and then index uh, of zero as well and here we've got an error total val invalid syntax okay I have missed out a curl on there and then what we can do here is we can uh, print out our sorted keys again and then we'll be able to see here gradually the um, the way it's bi uh, building or sorting this data and building the tree so let's just make this easy to look at okay so now what we can see is we have T, S, space, and then we can gradually see these being merged together. So we can see here, this is a merge, and then here, this is a merge, and then we have these, these are merging into a four, and then that goes all the way up here, and we can see this is gradually merging. And then in the end, we have this one big uh, character or big sort of node. So now what we need to do is we need to be able to trace this. So we've done the while, we've built the tree, and then we need to trace down tree to get the, or traverse down the tree uh, to get the route of each one. So we can get rid of this. And now what we're going to do is we need to say we're going to do a function called trace. So trace. And then inside this function, we need the parameter of current node. Current node and then the character and then the root. So what's this? what this is doing is, say we have this initially, this node down here, the, for, uh, the root node of everything in, then we're gonna pass this in, and then we're gonna be looking for the specific character of maybe T, and we're gonna be finding the root. So what we can also do here quickly is we can print out done and then we'll be able to see here hopefully if I just put something in here and it should work 
then we can see here as well this is the actual values and stuff and then the left and right here you can see and this is a lot of the data that's going to help us uh, work out which way we need to go for each of these so in our trace function uh, we've got the parameters in and then we're going to say the Ah, uh, yeah, we're going to look at the done uh, for the current node. So we're going to say if left is in done, but we're going to say current node. And then we're going to say also, ooh, we're going to say if character in done current node and then left so that's another check that we need to do so if the character say t is in done current node left um, so if it's on the left of the tree then we're going to add this in so we're going to say new root equals root plus zero and now we know if it's left we're going to add zero to our root because zero is left and one it would be right and then what we're going to do is trace so we're going to uh, call this function recursively trace done current node uh, left here That's not actually right. I need that to be there. Current node left. And then we're going to say the character and new root. So we're calling this function again, essentially. But now we need to deal with if it's not left, if it's right, if right is in there. And done. Current node. And then if character in done current node right, then we're going to add one. <coughs> New root equals root plus one. And then the reason we're using this as a string, root needs to be a string, uh, not an integer, is because we're dealing with binary. So if we're trying to add one to a root that already has zero or already has one, if it already has one, then we're going to make it two, which isn't what we want. We'd want one, one. So then what we want to do is the trace again. So I'll just copy this in. And then we're going to say write instead. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say if, yeah, we're going to say if left, not in done, current node, and then also if right, not in done, current node, then we're going to say roots of the character equals root and that's basically saying we're done what we don't have here is roots so we need to add this in roots equals a blank dictionary and then what we have here is we have the roots and then what we're going to say is we're going to say down here, finally, root node equals list, data keys, data dot keys, sorry, and then index of zero. So that's going to be the biggest number or the root node. 
and then for i in root node we're gonna trace it so we're we're using the root node as in here we have t e i o h x m space s we're gonna go through all of these and that's what's gonna first initiate the tracing for i am root node we're gonna trace and then the root node and then i and then uh, just a blank string and then we're going to say for i in text upper dot upper encoded text plus equals roots i So what we're doing here is finally we are we need to add in encoded text quickly. Text equals that blank string. Here what we're doing is we're going through our original string and then we're getting the root and then adding this in to our encoded text. So then what we can do is in the end we're going to print our roots so we can do uh, try and make it neat and then we're going to say roots and here and then we're going to add in the roots here and then also what we're going to do is we're going to print our encoded text and then we're going to do that. Backslash n. And this should be working now. So we can try this. And here we can see we have our roots. We have t is 0, 0. So it makes sense that that's probably the largest. And then e, 0, 1, 0. I zero one one zero uh one zero 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 and then one zero one and so on and then here we have the important bit we have the encoded text so if we then look at this we can see hmm what do we have first we have a zero and a zero so that's going to be t and then we know that's the root node because we found it in here. And then here we have one zero, starting with one zero. There's a few starting with one zero here. One zero zero. So it can't be the space. It can't be M. It can't be X. It could be O. It could be H still. One zero zero one. So we know it's H. And then this lines up with T and then H this. So we know we've done this, right. And then what we can then do later on is we can get some other text. And where's the generator? Ha, here. And then if we take this, this is obviously a much bigger uh, paragraph. And then go back in. And then we use triple quotes because it's going to be double line. Then here we have a much bigger text file and we're going to have a much bigger um, roots and encoded text. But we can see it's going to work here. and we This is a lot more efficient in storing this text. And then we have all of this and different routes. If instead we decided we didn't want to do text or upper and we just did text, this would also work. We have to change it here as well. Text is not callable. Oh, that's because we've left in this from the upper. Uh, 
And then here, yeah, we can see. This is obviously a lot bigger. But we can see we have a lot more characters here. And we have a lot more codes. So that shows, you know, it's still going to be a lot more efficient to use Huffman coding in a huge um, text file. And it's fairly easy to run on Python. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful. In the next video, we will work on decoding this as well. So we're going to make a decoder in Python. Hope this was helpful. Goodbye.